we're going to look at these two very easy word problems. And the idea is not so much to solve the word problems, but I want you to learn to write an addition or a subtraction using an unknown in your addition or subtraction. Let's see how that happens. Now Matthew has $35. He needs $48 to buy some paint. So he doesn't have enough money. How much more does he need? Well, Matthew, by the way, what do you need paint for? He wants to paint his room lovely purple. Imagine that. So, he has 35, he needs 48. We could write an addition or a subtraction. Now, I'm going to write an addition, thinking that, okay, Matthew has $35, then he needs some more, so he, he wants to add some more money to his pocketbook, right? So that he would get 48. Now, how much more? That's the unknown, right? We don't know it yet. So, for this, I'm going to use something for the unknown. This time, I'm going to use a triangle. Okay, so that's my addition with an unknown, and I hope you learn to write these kind of additions too. And now to solve it, it's easy to solve, right? You can see $13 is missing, and then over here I will write that the triangle equals $13. I have solved my little equation. This is actually algebra in disguise. Cynthia spent $49 at the store, and she came home with $19. How much did she have at first? Think of her purse where she keeps her money. She has some money at first. She goes to the store and spends $49. So $49 goes out of her purse, right? And then what is left in her purse is $19. Now that is a subtraction situation. She has some at first and some of that money goes away and then some is left. Okay. So I subtract, or I can write a subtraction, and what is subtracted is the 49, that's how much goes away, and what is left is the 19, and we don't know how much she has in the beginning. Triangle again. You could use a question mark too. Okay, and I can also write an addition, because to solve this kind of thing, I actually need to add this and this, right? To find how much triangle is, I have to add. So, let me write an addition too. I will write 19 plus 49 equals my triangle. Now let's add 19 and 49. And both of these, there's an easy number that is real close to 19, and there's an easy number that's real close to 49. And those are 20 and 50, right? 20 plus 50 is 70. But this is $1 less, $1 less. So the answer is $2 less than 70, right? Or 68. So the triangle is $68. There, that's how much she had in the beginning. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.